All right, so we want to leave you with uh, just a bit of a, a next step. So where do we go moving forward? We've heard a lot about technology. You've heard great examples from our folks from Lebanon talking about their process to go from a project, building trust with leadership and the executive level and moving forward. So I've asked Ed Karubas to come join me on the stage. So Ed leads our professional services organization globally for public safety. There's a bit of a methodology here that's a madness that I think will be important for you. So I'll let Ed take it from there, give you some, some starting points. So take good notes and we'll close out the day after that. Ed, yours, thanks. Thank you, Ryan. Hello, everybody. I was told to talk fast, so here we go. How many folks, your brain look like this right about now, two days into the conference? Word cloud, that's your, I mean, that's, by the end of this week, that word cloud in your head is just gonna keep expanding, right? So what do you do? Where do I start? All of these great ideas, all of these concepts, all of this sharing, it's overwhelming. How do, I, uh, how do I begin the next? Where do I go? Interesting, the, our colleagues um, at the Lebanese Red Cross, they laid out a development process, which uh, uh, they figured it out. They're doing, and the reason why they've had success is because they are looking to understand, then plan, then act, right? So it's not ready, fire, aim, right? It's ready, aim, fire. And, and that's... Uh, if nothing else you take away from my next couple of minutes here on the stage, it's understanding precedes action. If you just keep that burned into your head, you're going to have success. So where do you start? Don't start here. I mean, that's all of these questions, technically, technical challenges uh, can, be, uh, can be overwhelming. Instead, first start by assembling your team. A couple of things I'd like to point out there. One is to bring success, you really need executive sponsorship. Uh, how many of you in the audience here are uh, the folks who make the decisions? All right, we have a few hands there. Uh, I think we probably have even more folks who are uh, champions. Champions, raise your hands, yes, yes. And then technical leadership, maybe you're a part of the IT organization, right? All three are important. It's critical that you have alignment between your executive leadership, you have a champion. An executive may give you lots of support, but they don't have the time to focus on this day-to-day. -day. A champion will. Uh, and technical leadership, business IT needs to be aligned. Uh, also, focus on business. Uh, these are the kinds of questions, right, that you should be asking. Don't start with, oh, well, how do I, you know, how do I build the architecture? Start here. Start with asking questions and try to understand what are the business drivers in your organization that are, uh, are presenting challenges for you today. Engage across the entire organization. Many great examples here so far in the last day and a half uh, in terms of uh, really, and the feedback. I mean, uh, Harry and Christine just talked about that, right? Talked about the exercise, getting feedback, how important that is, engaging. Uh, don't build in a silo, get out there and uh, really work with the folks who, uh, who use this technology or who will be using it and gain that feedback, learn from them what their need is, what's really going to work. I'd also say um, build yourself a little, a little quad chart, right? Business value, ease of launch, and really focus on quick wins. Uh, figure out and group your activities of all your list of things that you want to achieve Try to assign them these categories. What's easiest and with the greatest business value so that you get buy-in, you have early success, uh, really important. And to do that, quick wins, leading with COTS technology, lot, uh, a lot of opportunity there that is offered in the Esri platform. So begin there. Begin with quick configured COTS examples that uh, provide real business value. So then rack and stack them based upon that quad chart and then start to, um, start to uh, take, you know, take, take them one at a time. And don't be afraid to not kind of take on certain activities if they don't meet those criteria, right? You, your time is important. You have to focus on what's going to de deliver the most value. And then execute it incrementally. And it's a cycle, right? So go through each one of those and systematically work through planning it out, defining the solution in detail, 
moving uh, to a functional design, then build, right? So prepare yourself for it and plan, then implement, uh, then operate and measure and operation and review. Uh, how, did we, uh, how did we do with all of it? And that's important, right? You know, it's not enough to just go through the cycle once. It's important because it's a continuous process and we learn from, uh, from that iterative process, right? So once you deploy, revisit. Did we have success? Did it work? Are, are our field, uh, are our field uh, resources finding value? Are they using it? Are they saying, hey, this doesn't really work for me because of the way it's structured or organized? Uh, if it's working, great. Celebrate your success, right? Have a, have a pizza party. But, uh, and if not, you know, go back in, go through the cycle, iterate, and, and improve upon it. So with that, uh, thank you. I think we'll probably hold questions. And I'll hand back to Ryan to take us to the break. Perfect. Thank you, Ed. Appreciate that. So let's give Ed a round of applause. So 